Hello guys and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists of the Roses um, and of course we're starting our Lancastrians playthrough today so like I said to you guys previously I think what we're going to do is we're going to take on Weevil I've already made our adjustments to our uh, deck very quickly so let me show you what we've done um, and then we'll head straight into that uh, into that fight so we had to drop our deck cost quite a lot so what I decided to do if we search by deck cost here is that I've taken out one of our shape snatchers like we had to make some some sacrifices to to fall into his deck cost so i've taken out one shape snatch unfortunately um, i've decided to keep our roaring ocean snakes in purely because i really want to keep the um the 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 sea terrain uh, switch that we rely so heavily on i also took out our uh, paralyzing potion i figured we already have enough trap support running in the in the deck as it is um you know i, I don't I know that we won't have permanent spell binding but it will slow him down enough um with the, with the traps that we do have and then i've taken our curse of dragon uh, we, we never really draw it very reliably and i feel like we'll just rely on alternative fusions for aqua dragon uh, at least for this duel and then we can just you know return return our deck to to normal service once we've hopefully taken weevil down so yeah so that's going to be our first uh challenge today of course the nice thing with the uh the lancastrian side of things is that you do get a choice of who you want to battle against uh it it, it just makes a little bit of a different run compared to to the yorkers side i am going to miss the versus lancastrians theme music I, I love the music it, like the, all the music in the game is good but that's that one in particular just stands out to me um so yeah so marine beast so let's first have a look at the field i mean as you can see as with a lot of the fields we have had labyrinth added i guess that this is oops sorry so i guess that this is less to slow the player down as much as it is to because i mean you can still bomb down the center of this but it does make you have to take only one line at least up until you come to here and if it's anything like weevil usually is he's gonna run off to the side of the field i don't know if his ai has changed uh, but yeah typical forest field um, we've got some labyrinth tiles just to shake things up especially going back from this mod to a vanilla playthrough you just realize how open everything is and it's nice having some sort of obstacles to add a bit of uh, a bit of variety to things and then a couple of spots of wasteland just i guess changes things up a little then here's a uh, deck leader much better than it was before no longer a little worm we've got javelin beetle a really cool card uh leader abilities extended support range and increased strength the same type friendly so we're going to want to at least um, get rid of some of his forest before we charge in on him um, and yeah he's a really cool uh really cool model actually uh, yeah pretty cool deck leader i have always wanted to run an insect deck it just wasn't all that uh, easy to run previously at least not for me um, you know you always had the uh, basically the goal was to summon perfectly ultimate great moth and that just took way too long but with the mod you do have alternative options cool so we've got a dark piercing light already off the first turn um, i did pop in a muyang curry just to to lower the deck cost so i think what we'll do is let's just keep our dark piercing light down and toss Muyan Curry aside. And let's see what his play is. Alright, yeah, so he's already scurrying off to the right. Uh, I wonder if that's a sign that we are up against Weevil's AI. Um, and then we've got our Shape Snatch already as well. So maybe we just play Shape Snatch right away. Uh, I think I might do that. So we'll move forward. As is typical fashion with us, we want to... Um, we want to charge this guy as much as we possibly can. So let's put down Shape Snatch, put him in defense mode. Oh, that was stupid. Um, okay, well, what's done is done. I forgot that he's going to... Yeah, that was stupid. Alright, so he's going to destroy Shape Snatch. It's going to create a bunch of crush on the field, I guess. So yeah, cool, we got an alpha. We could have easily taken that guy out. I forgot about the, the, the change in attack and defense. That's my own stupidity. <laughs> and Kuwagata Alpha is still going to survive that as well. Okay, so we've made things a little bit easier for him. I mean, I guess we can always just charge off to the left now. We've got a bit of crush to to play on if we need. Um, yeah, no, that wasn't smart of me, guys. <laughs> um, Alright, so... 
We'll forget about that. We'll try to at least. Um, so let us. Create a five star aqua just in case we do manage to get aqua dragon. We'll keep that one side. Alright, so he's creating fusions as well. Yeah, so Kuwagata cool Alpha is gonna chase us down. Guess we've got a roaring ocean snake as well, which is great. Um, we do have another dark piercing light, so maybe we just flip this up. Let's see what he has fused ahead of us so that we know what to expect. Okay, so he's created a javelin beetle. So that must be a new fusion. Um, let's see, so Hercules beetle and Quagar Hercules will make you javelin beetle now. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty cool. So Hercules beetle, Quagar Hercules will make you javelin beetle. And yeah, 3450. So we're going to want to let him come out of the extended support range onto our Roaring Ocean Snake, which should then take him out. So I think what we'll do is we'll just pop down another Dark Piercing Light. And then we can always just, on our next turn, we'll move Marine Beast forward and then his Kuwagata Alpha can attack into our Fire Kraken, I guess. We'll figure it out. Alright, yeah, so Javelin Beetle is coming straight ahead into us. We're probably going to want to take him out immediately. So with Roaring Ocean Snake, that'll put him to 2,600. Yeah, so we'll take out Javelin Beetle. Cool. So yeah, so the terrain is such a big swing, like you can see how powerful Javelin Beetle was with him running out of the support range. I mean, that's basically the theme of everything thus far. Um, then we'll move Marine Beast forward, just that, because Kuwagata Alpha is probably going to come through to attack us. Um, but yeah, we can, we can figure out a plan for that. I mean, whatever he summons might just attack us directly as well, so we're going to need to tank some hits on this turn. At least with us standing on a water tile, it's going to keep us somewhat safe. Alright, so 1250 damage. And we've got a Jirai Gumo here as well. That's a bit of a problem, potentially. Yeah, because that's got 3200. Okay, so... Destiny draw. Cool, so Raigeki. Um, yeah, so what I might do is just pop down Raigeki, get rid of his Jirai Gumo, and then just save our deck leader as much as we possibly can here. We're actually in a really bad spot here, guys. Like, I've made a couple of bad plays as well, to be fair. Um, so, yeah. So let's pop down our Raigeki. Activate that, it's going to get rid of Jirai Gumo, as well as Cool Gutter Alpha. And we live with 550... somehow. Um, Alright, so... So yeah, so Weevil's proving tough so far. Alright, so whatever that is, is not powerful enough to take on our Roaring Ocean Snake. The worry is that he's got a lot of forest ahead of us. Um, okay, so this is this is cool. So, so yeah, so we can make our Aqua Dragon actually. So we can take our One-Eyed Shield Dragon, fuse him with our Great White, make us Karyushin. So let's flip that up. So we can make a bit of sea terrain and then move our fire kraken over that. Make us aqua dragon. And I guess we just keep our roaring ocean snake there for now. 
We do still have our dark piercing light. Uh, we should probably activate our um, our goblin secret remedy sometime soon. Okay, so we've got a power increase card here. Okay, Lava of Moth with 3,500 defense. So even if Aqua Dragon attacks that, it's not going to be strong enough to kill it. Okay, so we have got Umi that we can activate. So maybe we do that quickly. It gives our Roaring Ocean Snake the ability to... Yeah, let's do that. So flood this corner of the field again. We can move our Roaring Ocean Snake into this. So Dungeon Worm, gonna take that out. Then we do have Curse Breaker as well, so possibly on the next turn we will just pop... Um, pop a Curse Breaker down onto Lava of Moth. I mean, that might be a, a better play to do. Um, yeah, so I think we can do that come the next turn. Get rid of Lava of Moth. Yeah, so he's gonna run from us. Okay, so let's hope he's gonna attack in on Aqua Dragon. I might just take the attack. So, yep, yeah, so Roaring Ocean Snake. Got a Magic Jammer as well. Yeah, so let's just do... Actually, before we pop that Curse Breaker, let's just Dark Piercing Light. Gotta see what's going on. Okay, so he's powered up a Giant Flea. That's the strongest Giant Flea I've ever seen. Um, so yeah, so we need to get rid of Lava of Moth either way. Um, okay, so let's just pop down... Curse Breaker here so that he can't attack directly into us with Lava of Moth. He might be tempted to do that and we can just let his giant flea attack onto our Aqua Dragon because we don't want to leave ourselves open to a potential attack. And he's got a Horn of Light on the field. Which I've only realized now. I guess he was just kind of making space in his deck. Putting it into defense mode to avoid all the damage it potentially do. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're actually in a very good position. I think we should be fairly okay here. So, so yeah, so let's just go Curse Breaker over Lava of Moth. So we're going to drop that to 2,500. We can attack into that with Aqua Dragon. Or actually, we can do a little more damage and tack into that with Roaring Ocean Snake. No, because we want to... Yeah, let's do this. So attack into that with Roaring Ocean Snake. Then Aqua Dragon into Lava Moth. Then we need to do 2,750 damage, which is fine because we have our 7-colored fish who will still keep his bonus because he's attacking onto a water tile. And that is GG's, guys. We've taken Weevil down. Awesome. Cool, good start to this side, good start to this playthrough. <laughs> I mean, it was very close at a point. I made some some pretty bad decisions for myself, uh, but yeah, it, it it went pretty well. Uh, so, so yeah, so we got two Kuwagata Alphas in the graveyard. Maybe we just go for a three in a row on those and see what we get. So got them there. They're nicely lined up, actually, in all three rows. Up. Oh, so it's always a chance for me to mess things up, as we found. We got another Goblin Secret Remedy, which is nice. And yep, mess it up. Okay, so cool, got an Alpha Goblin Secret Remedy. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> There'll be other three in a row opportunities, I guess. My timing is just so off on that. Like, I can just never get the, the timing correct on that. Cool. So that's another Rose card. And that is going to open up two alternative routes for us. 
So we've got Pegasus as well as Keith. As we can see, the deck costs are steadily rising on those. So we're just going to fix our deck up very quickly. I can chat to you guys a little longer. And then I think we're going to end the episode there because um, I think that Rex is going to take some, some time to play through, especially with his with his field being the way that it is. But you guys will see that in the in the next episode, obviously. So, yeah, so let's take out a bunch of the junk that we threw in here. So Muya and Curry and the two fake traps. So we'll pop in our Shape Snatch again. As well as... We take out Paralyzing Potion and Curse of Dragon, right? So yeah, so that puts us back down to 1040 deck cost, which is two below... Yeah, so two below what uh, what Rex requires. And then what's our deck cost on Goblin Secret Remedy is 20. I, mean, I don't know if I want to take anything else out right now, just because that's... It's going to mess around with our deck cost. So we'll, we'll run the two Goblin Secret Remedies. We'll be good to do that. And yeah, so I think that, that was a, a decent enough start. It got a little bit hairy. Raigeki really saved us getting rid of Jirai Guma as well as Kuwagata Alpha because... His monsters could have sneezed on us and we would have been done and dusted. So, um, so yeah, so decent start to to the new side playthrough. Decent start to the um, to the Lancastrian side. Um, and yeah, next episode we're going to take on Rex Raptor. It was a, a bit of a short duel today, I guess, but I want to get that balance between uh, you know a long and a short episode. And I just think that Rex is going to take a, a while. And obviously, the further we get into these playthroughs, the the episodes will be longer again. I promise. So. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching today, guys. And yeah, next episode, we take on the dinosaur man himself, uh, Rex Raptor. So thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. It really helps me out. It gives me a, a, a gauge of who of you guys really enjoy this. And, uh, and yeah, if you have stuck with me for this long, I really appreciate you. Um, yeah, thank you, guys. Bye for now.